What's up, fellas? I got a little bit of a mess going on here today, and I was doing a real quick, simple little experiment that involves something me and Mescal were discussing. A long time ago, he built uh, an oxyhydrogen torch that had an electric arc feature to it. Now, back in the day, back in the 40s or 50s, whatever it was, there's this guy named uh, Euler Brown or something like that who came up with Brown's gas. Well, he used to hook they set a welder up to it and uh, would use the torch with the oxyhydrogen flame and tam in tandem with an arc. So I decided to give it a little test. And all I did was just connect the torch up in my ground to a little specimen of here, metal here, which turns out to be a piece of metal that loses value by the second. So don't worry about that. And essentially nothing fantastically happens. I'm going to give it a little touch off here, show you what I mean. I don't want to burn my tip up, but... Nothing uh, real amazing happening there. I was hoping that as we slowly turn the dial up, more and more amperage would pass through. But as you can see, there's no difference in amperage determined, you know, whether or not I'm touching the specimen or not. Maybe if I touch that. Yeah, just nothing to write home about is happening. I thought it would be cool if electricity could pass through the hydrogen flame like a wire and make it hotter, but that does not happen. We're gonna turn it up to the full 80 amp capacity of this inverter circuit. The circuit itself may be the problem. The circuit will also not run an electrolysis cell, even though the voltage and amp are specified may make it seem ideal for that process. Something about that circuit that won't allow it to happen. I would not be touching off at this amperage. I'm not going to ruin my torch. This is just a simple experiment in regards to a discussion me and him had, me and Mescal. As you can see, the amperage isn't changing at all. So it looks like your high voltage setup is a must. We're not going to get any action out of this thing. I believe 70 volts might be the maximum. Hard to say, 20 volts is what it's telling me there. So the voltage is just probably too low. But uh, there you have it. That's a failed test. I just had to try it real quick. I was getting ready to build this fancy little gun and all this, and I'm like, wait a minute, I ain't wasting my time on all this crap. Absolutely nothing happened. That's about a 12 amp flame there. Yeah, that's disappointing. Looks like we're gonna have to go with a little bit of high voltage and that kind of scares me a little bit. I don't know how valuable high voltage is gonna be. So, that didn't work. Well, Matt, I think we're gonna have to go with the old high voltage oil bath baby there. That's just a mop, so that's not gonna do anything too outstanding per se. Um, however, if I hook that up to a triac, we might be able to ease into the voltage so that I don't have a lightning bolt shooting out of the end of my torch, melting everything. I'm on the fence, man, whether or not I should go forward. I mean, you've already done the high voltage build, bro. Why should I waste our time with it? This video is more specifically focused on the low voltage, high amperage. I wanted to see what a welder would do and, uh, absolutely nothing is what it does so <laughs> you've already done this so I don't think I'm gonna waste our time going forward with it guy I mean I think I might just watch your video a few times I'll leave the link in the description for anyone who's interested in that video you ought to check it out he's the first person who's ever done this on footage I think the only person and I don't want to go messing with that so we're gonna leave you on uh, on the top on that one, bro. I think that uh, I'm gonna just check your video out and uh, see if you can think back for me to the days when you did that experiment and tell me if you think it had any actual observable effectiveness or was it just a, a light show, you know what I mean? Um, I can see where it has its applications, but uh, the voltage is gonna have to be higher. I don't have anything that puts off like 300 volts 
Maybe I should just try it with 120 volts. I could uh, somehow, well, that's the only diode array that I have that can handle that is. I don't have the money to build that right now. So we've seen low voltage. We've seen high voltage on your video, which I will leave a link in the description to. And I'm thinking maybe we should try a 120 volt attempt.